Okay, today is Peacock Day and the resin. I'm using counterculture, equal parts A and B, blue and green label. This is artist resin. It's the thickest viscosity. Normally I use medium. I'm going with thick today just to see if I get any different results. I've poured into this, uh, it's a cupcake stand kind of mold but it's got a little centerpiece so you can also make a clock out of it. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. And I've got three geode number three coaster molds from Counterculture. And my little flower mold. Letting the resin sit here for a little while. I have over 20 ounces of resin here, so quite a lot of resin. Today I wanted to use peacock colors, so I've got probably two and a half ounces. I wanted the most of the gold, and for that I'm using El, El Dorado Epoxy Pigment Paste KS Resin. Mixed in with a little bit of Pell Gold by Eridron from Laura's Art Corner, because I don't like it quite that yellowish so I wanted to tone it down just slightly with the other mica powder. I'm using Lorez pigment paste and sapphire blue is in this cup and it doesn't have any it's not a metallic so I added some sparkle to it lovely sparkle and that was sparkle white my go-to from Funshine Color Shop. The purple is Lorez luscious plum and I wanted to show you in the cap what it looks like. It, if you open your thing up and it looks like this inside and it's all dry and matte and caked looking, you just heat it and then it'll go back to a liquidated kind of form. So don't think that your um, pigment paste is ruined when it doesn't have any life to it. Just warm it up and you'll be good. I'm going to show you mixing the last. These are about two ounces of the colors. This is Peacock Dance. Okay, so here's the Peacock Dance. I just get a nice little dollop on the end of my stick and then start mixing it in. Pigment paste goes quite a long way. It's heavily pigmented. It doesn't take a ton of it. I actually probably used more than I needed to. It's not more than 10% of the resin. That's you're always you're not going to ever want to add anything to your resin more than 10% because then you might have chances of your resin not curing properly. You also need to scrape your stick when you do put resin pigment paste in. That pigment paste may cling to the end of your stick, so wipe it down a few times to make sure and scrape. Right now I'm at 20 minutes on this. This is the Artist Resin Thickest Viscosity, a little different from the Medium Viscosity. So I'm going by the warmth in the cup. I don't want it to start warming up on me yet. Okay, so I'm going to put the sticks aside, give each one of them a last Hurrah, spin, mix, twirl. I do it kind of in the center of the mold with the heat torch just to get the bubbles out. You don't want to overdo with the heat torch, especially near the edges of the mold because then your resin may stick to your mold. And that's what a low res um, color looks like on top. And, you know, you get, they're pricier, you know, sometimes, but they last forever. So that's the good part about it. I've got, I've got these that I were going to, it's a chunky glitter. It's so different from the gold that I'm not going to use this with this. I've got a low temp heat gun. Do that before I put my stuff in because I don't want to uh, mess up the design. Now, typically I would pipe the colors. OK, 
Okay, so it's still not thickened up enough. I'm going to wait maybe five more minutes or so. You don't want it spreading out that much. Okay, see it's staying put better this time, so. It's easier to do it with piping bags, to be totally honest. I didn't want to fool with it, but it is easier with piping bags, for sure. Okay, so I made a mess on the molds, but that all peels off when it's set up, so that's not an issue. Now, this is what I really wanted to do. And we will see. I think it would have worked much better with the medium viscosity. It would have stayed, kept its shape much better.
These are all full to the brim. So I'm trying to get some of it to shift back. A little bit too much resin in that one. So I have been working on these for an hour since I met, you know, mixing the resin since I mixed it. If this were medium viscosity, it would already be like super tacky. So um, that's the difference in the medium and the thickest viscosity, in my opinion. But to keep your shapes, I think I like using the medium viscosity better. not wide enough to do all of it so I'm going to have to cover it with two different things. And this also takes longer to cure. So I'll have a good eight hours or more. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna lay down parchment paper so that when I unmold this, I won't be laying it on anything that will stick to my resin. So I did another, uh, this is a, I think a 10 inch circle and it has the peg in the middle. It's really the third tier of a cupcake or you know dessert holder candy tier thing so there's always a little bit of static cling to it okay so this is the top side that I poured down into which is pretty and then here is the bottom side and um, this mold came from uh, Amazon and it was a three-tier mold and the, the molds were stuck together with the inside sticking to each other and I had to pry them apart I don't know if you can see if I can get the shimmer or the um, there's a ring right here and then one out here and so I don't know if you can see that ring right there's a ring right there where the lights hitting and then there's that second ring so I, I got a set of molds that stuck together there's that second ring right there so I'm a little disappointed with that, but um, I would probably have to put another flood coat to get this, you know, really beautiful. I have, it looks pretty awesome. I'm really loving it. I wish the purple would have shown up more, but it, it really showed up more on this side and less on this side. And um, this, the gold was where, when I put it in the clear originally, and it kind of spread out and I said I needed to wait a little while that was the gold that was kind of extra that was in that area and um, and I swirled a little bit and I don't know if it made that pattern so it's not perfect but it, I think it's still quite unusual and pretty looking it's reading it on the mold here and I have you know all these little pieces that where I went from petal to petal and I just continued the flow of the resin so it it just leaves a little bit of the little pieces you just break off this is the one that the mold that I've used that I just kind of if I don't pour it so thick because as you can see it's super thick 
um, and I didn't even pour it to the top of the mold but if I pour it thinner and then you put it in a bowl you can kind of curve the petals and make it you know like a flower shaped little trinket bowl but I didn't do it I decided to keep it flat and let it cure exactly the way I'd put it in and so there's that sign and so it's you could use it as a coaster for sure the blue is really br uh, pretty with that um, sparkle white in it because the blue does not is not iridescent but these the thing I love about these Lorez pigments is they look very velvety like crushed velvet and the blue is just a blue pigment and so that sparkle white just gives it that extra little oomph that it needed but my purple really stayed more on the surface and didn't sink through like the other colors did so there's that one and then I just basically had enough resin for three coasters typically I do four and like I said when you kind of drizzle it over the edge like when you're using your toothpick to drag the the points you just kind of take it over the edge of the mold so you have to maybe you know break off or cut off some of that but there's that blue really shown through on that that's gorgeous These are those lovely jewel tones. So the blue was the um, the showstopper in this set here, for sure. But see that sparkle white? You can put it in any color and it will give you tremendous shimmer. Besides putting it in white, you can put it in any color. So three lovely coasters, this beautiful single lotus flower shaped coaster, and then this, which I'm going to turn into a clock. I don't know if you can hear the thunderstorm outside. It's, it's storming. We've had some thunderstorms the last few days even put a clock face on your resin pieces I wouldn't cover up this much of this because it's too pretty so I have a lot of clock mechanisms the batteries and all and no arms and hands I've got numbers so I'm gonna have to order some hands hope you enjoyed watching and have you learned something from it? Uh, I actually, because I used the thicker viscosity, the colors kind of blended more together. If you do the medium viscosity, you kind of know how long to wait. And when it starts warming, that's kind of when you know to do it. With the thicker viscosity, the thickest one, um, I didn't really know exactly. And so, the colors blended more and ran together so you don't have any real clear negative space between the colors which I kind of like to have that negative space kind of like with this how there's you know there's gaps between the colors I like that because then it it really accentuates the petal shapes more so um, that's really the only complaint that I have about the thickest viscosity um, is just that things kind of combine more. But definitely the earlier you do it, the worse it's going to be. So you need to really wait until it warms up to do it because um, it's going to blend too much and then 
like what it started to do at the beginning of the video when I put the gold in it'll just all they'll all just combine into a multicolored thing and it may turn to mud and it may look pretty but it's not you're not going to get the petals and the distinct shapes so thanks for watching and uh, check out all the links below the video check out my Amazon journal list that I now have on my recommendations link for Amazon and I'll see you on the next video bye bye